today's men 16 video is going to give you some concepts that's going to carry over into men 17 and i think this is going to be one of our most helpful videos that we've done here at this youtube channel for those of you guys that don't know my name is cody and i want to welcome you to the channel today we're talking about consistency and i the reason i wanted to talk about consistency is as we kind of transition from men 16 into men 17 it's really important to kind of build some pillars and some key concepts around what I want to do uh, in this next season. And, and what I really want to focus on this season is consistency. Um, you know, we talked about greatness and how to become great and uh, how to be, how to go basically from a good player to a great player. What is, what is, how do you do that in Madden? And this, this, consistency thing keeps coming back to my mind um, it's little things guys it's, it's it really is little things um, what you're gonna see in this game is I'm running the same offense I've been running pretty much the most of the season uh, it's the Rams offense uh, I'm running a little salary cap rank beta here or salary cap rank here uh, just changing up some some players here and there but pretty much the same scheme but what I want to do is talk about consistency and this is kind of the takeaway so greatness is consistent execution over time. One of my favorite quotes basically goes like this. Great people do consistently what good people do, what average people do uh, once in a while. And, and the reason I like that quote so much because I, so, I think it's so dead on and so accurate. You know, I'm going to give you guys a lot of tips, a lot of plays over this next season uh, a lot of things you can do to become a better player. But if you're not consistent, if you're not in the lab for yourself, if you're not uh, you know, on the chat all the time, if you're not constantly learning and also learning how to learn, if you're not doing those things, you're not going to be successful. It really is that simple. There's several different things that are important for us to discuss going forward, but I think it all starts with this conversation about consistency uh, again this idea that the best players are the most consistent practice players and what I mean by that is they're in the gym all the time you think about uh, the greats they always show up an hour early to practice they they always stay an hour later to study film you know on and on and on and on and I think it's the same approach with a game like Madden if you want to be really really good at this game then it is up to you to put in the work. Uh, you know, you have to, I, I like this quote, uh, it's a writing, uh, so if you're interested in writing, this is a, a, something that I think is good. And, and basically this, this writer's giving advice to his, to his audience, and what he says, uh, one of the, he's talking about improving his writing, and he basically says this, sit in the chair. And sit in the chair, it means put in the work. You know, sit down with the game and play it. Don't, don't go out and watch a billion videos. You have to put in the work. You have to sit in the chair. You have to grind. You have to practice. You have to be consistent. And and that's my goal here. Um, we're going to try to be as consistent as we can on our end on the YouTube things to try to consistently give you content um, that's going to be helpful. Uh, I've got a couple of ideas of different things I want to do. Obviously, interviewing is something I'm really passionate about. So if you know of anyone that would be interested in being interviewed for the YouTube channel, uh, someone that you want to learn from, let me know some ideas of players that you would want me to kind of reach out to, contact, see if they'd be interested in doing an interview. But uh, that's definitely one thing I want to do. Uh, the other thing I want to do is, again, I think there's so much value in picking a one playbook at the beginning of the season and just and just deepening, your deepening, 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 deepening uh, over and over and over again. Uh, so, so we're going to try to provide those couple of things. We're going to try to do those really, really, really well. What you're seeing right now is a lot of inside zones because this guy's running quarter. I mean, he's running quarter one, three, seven. I'm pretty sure right now he's blitzing his middle linebacker. Um, that's pretty much what we've seen. This guy's run a lot of uh, cover zero. So what we're going to do um, in a couple of in a couple of plays here is we're going to really, really work over that cover zero. But uh, but yeah, guys. So so these are some 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 of the little bitty things um, I think that are so so important uh, going forward. 
is consistency in everything that we do. And we're going to try to be very, very consistent in reinforcing that. It's Again, guys, it's not about having the best blitz in the game. It, it really isn't. It, the way the games are made now, um, you know, it's more about, you know, being able to execute, uh, being able to adjust on the fly, be, you know, doing those small little bitty things that make a huge difference. Um, so this guy is coming out. He's got outside leverage on me right here. Let me just break this down for you. So what I see in this is we've got two high safeties. He's been running a lot of cover zero. He's not pressing up. So what this means is probably a cover zero look. So we're going to try to hit outbreaking patterns against man-to-man -man coverage. Checks down to zone, so we're going to check down to our, our little crossing route over the middle. Okay, so again, number a couple things there. So first and foremost, analyzing what, understanding tendencies. Um, you know, being able to read different tendencies, being able to do that. Secondly, having bailout reads. And if they run zone, I have to have a secondary option that I can check down to. Um, and normally you'll find that I do. Here he goes back to his cover zero. We're able to deliver the ball to a quick little outbreaking pattern. And, uh, and we're off to the races there. So simplicity is a huge deal for me. And you're going to hear me hammer that over and over again. Consistency in the little things. Those two high safeties. Understanding he's in quarters, guys. So I'm going to run an inside zone. Okay. I'm going to run an inside zone. I'm not going to sit there and just air it out. I've got plays, okay? I've got air and out plays. I've got, I mean, I'm going to show you one play that I've been working on recently. And, you know, that's, that, that's got some really, really good potential as a red zone play. So, like, what I'm trying to get at here, guys, is I hope you're hearing me. A couple things. Take what the defense gives you, obviously. But even more than that, guys, this this game is, 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 is really just about being consistent. You know, not making turnovers. You know, we don't talk about that enough. I mean, think about how different this 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 whole spectrum of B would be if we talked about, hey, limit your turnovers more. You know, what if we what if we spent more time talking about that than we did talking about trying to find the next best play? The reason I bring that up, real quick, the reason I bring that up is because we're always looking for the next best thing. And what you're going to find is the next best thing is not always as great as we think it is. We will move on to play, to play, to play, to play. I'm gonna show this in a future video breakdown. But what I want you to see today is what I try to do, guys, is be consistent. Okay, so that's that play I'm working on there, little rocket catch in the end zone. That comes from hours and hours and hours in the exact same playbook. Throwing routes with different passing trajectories. It's all about depth. It has nothing to do with width. If you try to be wider, and what I mean by that is if you try to just look for the next best play, the next best play, the next best play, the next best play, the next strong power, the next fullback dive, the next four verticals, the next uh, drive out, wh whatever it is, you will not be successful in this business okay the only way you will be successful is by being simple okay simplicity is the narrative okay simplicity is the narrative consistency is the game consistent execution throughout okay right there i wanted to test some things out with that little red zone play see if that wheel route was as good as i thought it was turns out he didn't get his feet down so now i'm going to make an adjustment to that for the future but it's just it's just little bitty things, guys, and I can't stress that enough. Uh, I've been in the same defense all season long. I've been in the same offense for most of the season. Uh, and I want to talk a little bit about uh, one thing here in a moment. You're going to hear, and you're going to see this um, played out on defense here, if I can get things set up. Okay, so we're going to take a timeout here real quick. What you're going to see on this is, on defense here and we don't talk about this enough either don't beat yourself on play one okay um, don't beat yourself on play one if you've got a great blitz awesome more props to you great job do not beat yourself on play one we don't talk about that enough guys this game is a is 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 so so much longer than we think 
Um, I think we get a little bit carried away with the time because we only have five minute quarters or four minute quarters or whatever mode based on the mode you're playing. You know, you may have a little bit more, but for the most part, we have, you know, about five, uh, you know, about about four to five minute quarters. And what I'm seeing a lot of people do is they throw their best blitz at people on play one. Why would you do that? Like, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you try to fill them out a little bit? At least get a, a feel for what this, what are they going to run? So that when you call the zone blitz, then you know where they're going. Okay, we need to focus more on that, and that's a that's a little nugget you can take apply to it your game plan. Um, you know, I don't think we talk enough about how to game plan, how to put a game a, a true game plan together together, and really really play this game um, as players and not just people who are sitting there running plays because we think we have the best blitz. Okay, it's not about that. Trust me, I know I've been there. I've tried to do it like that. It doesn't work. Okay, it doesn't work. It's that simple. It doesn't work long term. You will only be, you, you know, uh, for example, this season, a lot of people were good because the double loop blitz was really, really effective. If they fix that blitz, how good do you think those players are going to be next season? You know, some of them will be good. Some of them will not be as good. And you see this every season. The reason I bring this up is because the people who are good year in and year out, they're able to put it together um, it's not just about one play. They don't just find one blitz. It's not one little thing. It's several things, several small things done consistently. Okay. So what I'm gathering here is I'm gathering data on this first drive. I understand. Okay. We've got power. O, we've got halfback. Will. those are the main things that he's doing. And I'm just trying to fill him out. Two men under is very good coverage this season. I've got a little blitz out of here that gets a little bit of pressure. Um, as you can see there coming through. So this guy's in the Browns, either the Browns or the Pats playbook, probably because he's running this X-Drag uh, Y trail, uh, one of the most overrated plays in the game, in my opinion. It's not as good as everyone talks about. It really can't really beat man coverage that well, in my opinion. Um, just just my personal opinion. I wouldn't run it um, unless, unless I didn't have shotgun tight. Um, but anyway. So again, two minute here, he's going to flip it. He's going to flip this side. So I'm going to play this. A little running back route here, try to overplay it a little bit because he's been going to that. And there we see we get a sack. Okay, so you see little bitty adjustments, little bitty tweaks here and there. And I'm able to get a sack, set myself up, get a big time defensive stop here in the first half. Now I'm in, my, in a really good position. Now, even if he would have scored a touchdown, I gathered so much data on that first drive. Okay, I understood Z spot, X drag trail, uh, halfback wheel, and power O are his kind of key plays. Uh, that he's going to go in and out of, you know, so now it kind of comes down to, um, you know, it's all about being able to, you know, be good with uh, being able to shut down where he wants to go, when he wants to go there. Um, that was a good, that was a good little route there. I think that was wide corner. Yeah, wide corner with a little in, interior post. That's a good little play there. But just showing him the similar look, showing him when he sees this defense, more than likely going to be two men under. He's going to try to run that power game. So here, he runs the power game. Now we're down in the five-yard line. I hope what you're seeing is these are very, very little things, okay? When you're in this situation, simplicity is your friend because what happens is we get so carried away with trying to make so many different adjustments that we'll, get, we'll leave our, our defense out to dry. I try to stay very, very simple in the first half because what I don't really have any data. I have to, I have to get a read on what is he gonna do. So here he goes, tries to score real quick, doesn't. I'm gonna burn a timeout here um, just to kind of try to get a feel here. So he's gonna run that power O more than likely. So I'm gonna jump into this three three five auto mine and. See if that got everything in. So this is a base red zone defense. Let's see what he does here. Yeah, we'll get some pressure. So not too bad. But I hope you guys are seeing what I'm saying. These are very small things. On this first half, he's just getting a standard, you know, standard base. This is what I run. 
um, you know, show me, show me where you're gonna go, kind of deal. There's a, another good pressure from William Jackson, but um, it's all about. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling. I'm telling you. Trust me when I say this. In a when you're playing, uh, you know, and you've got to make adjustments on the fly, and you've got to have some speed with your adjustments and do that kind of thing. See, there we are. We got that spy coming down on that spot route. Um, so that's an adjustment we make because we know what he's running. We have the data points. See, now he's in a situation he kind of has to go for it. Taking a field goal wouldn't do him any good here. Uh, we'll see what he decides to do. But hope you're seeing what I'm saying is, is consistency. I'm just kind of running my basic stuff in the first half. You'll see me adjust here later on uh, in the second half. But right now, just kind of trying to mainly run my, my base stuff. He runs a fullback die. That was a, oh, and he gets in the end zone. Wow. But I think that was that Brandon Jacobs. That guy's like 6'6 six, six or something. That was an intriguing truck animation that that guy got because he's like a 60 overall. But it's just consistency and little things. So now I know next time he's in goal line, you know, he's probably thinking that fullback dive, even if he's about two yard line. Very interesting that he went with that call, though. Just what you just wouldn't normally see that. We had it kind of, I mean, in my opinion, we were fine. Uh, you're not going to get that trucking animation consistently. And again, it goes back to what I'm saying. This is all about consistently. We're trying to, we're trying, um, I, I like this concept. We don't try to be, um, you know, we, we don't try to, to hit tens all the time. So if you, if you use a baseball analogy, we're not trying to hit the home run every time. What we're trying to do is we're trying to bat for doubles. Uh, we're trying to shoot in the gaps, okay? We're trying to get good percentage kick. Or, uh, or or hit same kind of thing uh, with 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 playing you know I'm not trying to do anything too crazy I'm just trying to simply you know consistency 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 consistently hit for a good average um, sometimes you know so, you know sometimes they'll dive in the middle of the outfield and make a great play and catch that shot but consistently they're not gonna make those plays okay so you tip your cap to them when they make the play but for the most part, you understand you're pretty good, okay? So that's kind of the concepts that I bring to the table here. It's about that consistency. I, I'm trying to help you guys, you know, win about 70% of your games here. Not necessarily, you're not going to win 100%, okay? And if you try to, you're going to end up, um, you know, you're only going to end up winning, a, you know, once or twice. You're not going to have that same success rate that you think you're going to have. He's not really able to beat this two-man under once I come down on that little, once I come down on that running back route. So we'll see what he does to adjust. Um, here we're going to change it up on him. Go with some zone pressure so that I can come down even harder. Goes to the power O. He's been mixing that power O in. It's actually done fairly well with it. But I hope you guys see what I'm saying. I mean, normally I run that 3 3 5 odd, and, and especially once I get a read on you. So last time he went over the middle here. And there's some pressure. So we got him in a fourth down and 18. Should punt the ball here to us. A good defensive stand. But I hope you guys hear what I'm saying. Consistency. So on offense here, uh, our read has been, he's kind of running a lot of two man. Uh, a lot of cover zero. He'll mix that in a little bit. Um, so what we're going to try to see here, we're going to really, in this situation, so again, go back to situational football because that's some, one of the most important things I can talk about. So we got the ball here. We got about two minutes left. Uh, one possession battle right now. I'm thinking that we got to get ourselves in a position to run some goal line plays. Okay, so we're going to inside zone that. If he come out in quarters, and he did, you know, we're going to hammer that inside zone. Now what we're able to do is hop into this bunch week, and we can do a couple of things here. Uh, so he's, as you notice, um, when he's not in cover three, uh, cover zero or cover two man, he's normally in uh, cover cover three. Uh, here he goes to. Uh, oh, I didn't. Want, I, I hit the wrong button and I got lucky by an aggressive catch. But 
if you guys notice. So there you went to that cover zero. We called verticals. The reason we call verticals is, if, is, is we're going to try to either shoot that wheel route over the outside or we were going to hit that, that deep post route, um, that deep post route coming over the middle. And there was a good play by his defensive lineman there. So we'll hop out of this, get back into our red zone plays. But it's just small little, small little things, making sure you're being consistent with your offense so that you're making the proper read. That That is an invaluable piece of information. If you guys can get good at making consistent reads um, against consistent looks, you're going to have a lot of success in this game. Uh, here we're able to put six points on the board. Let's see if we can't go for two here, make it happen. Got a couple of different plays I like in the red zone. Uh, wide trail is... Uh, is becoming one of my favorites um, just because I think it's pretty consistent. I haven't had a whole lot of trouble. I don't think I've ever really had any trouble. We'll see what this guy does with it. But normally he's able to catch that right there, that little high pass lead on the cutback. Um, at least once or twice I'll throw that. It'll do pretty well for me. And then I got that other one out of the out of the gun out of the gun tight offset. So you see, just constantly deepening uh, your, your your playbook knowledge of your own playbook, and I'm and, and again, I think it's important to study other playbooks, um, deepen your knowledge of all the playbooks. But as far as running other plays, I would stick with your main whatever you pick in the beginning of the year. I would stick with it through and through because the playbook's not the most important. The execution is, and if you're going to good execution, you need to have good solid repetition. Uh, there the defense comes through for us, gets a sack. He's not handling that pressure very well. Uh, we're able to get in there, get a sack fumble, and uh, and make some plays. So I hope you see what I'm talking about here. I hope this is making sense. If it is making sense, um, you know, leave a like rating. If it's not making sense, ask some questions in the comments. Let me know, uh, you know, what is not making sense so that I can kind of clarify uh, where I'm coming from. Uh, for you guys, oh, it was a terrible, terrible timing on that play from Brady. Threw it a little too early. So, so right now, right, so this is, and again, consistency. So how do I close this game out in a consistent way? You know, how do I not give up big plays? I run two-man hunter. Um, you know, I know it's not the pop, I mean, I know it's the kind of cheesy thing to do, but why would you not? Run two man under in this situation. I mean, this is this is tailor made two man under time right here. This is golden. I mean, we are golden if we run two man under, and he's running this this scheme that he's running. He can't beat it. He can't beat man. I mean, you can you guys have seen that over and over again. The only route that he has is a table route to the running back. So here we're gonna get PA shot wheel or whatever. Maybe get Z spot. We got halfback toss. And we'll just tackle Steven Jackson. Yeah, Steven Jackson's not as good as everybody thinks he's thinks he is in this in this mutt game. He's, I think Steven Jackson's a little overrated. I think the I think people are jumping on the bandwagon uh, because um, the guy from Madden Daily was able to make him look pretty good in a couple of games in a Madden tournament. In my opinion, that's what's going on, but I could be wrong. So here he's going halfback wheel. Yeah. And we got a flat zone over there now. So you see how we're kind of consistently changing, changing up here. We need to be back out of this. We need to get back in that big dime. It's like I love that nickel three three five odd so much that it's hard for me to kind of go away from it. Uh, it's hard for me to stick with big dime. But right now this is the obvious, obvious play call. It's running the same plays. Got this little. Little route to the running back. A corner route can't beat man because I've got plus uh, 96 plus man coverage. If you have 96 or higher man coverage, your uh, my research shows me you have 96 or higher man coverage. Cover two man is is very very difficult to beat unless you have specific route concepts. Um, and this guy does not have those route concepts right now. At least he hasn't shown them. Corner routes are not going to beat it. Um, just my experience. Um, so here we go. There's a slant, but we got that pressure in. 
Uh, he's not doing a good job at picking up the pressure. I think he's going to go ahead and quit out here. So, guys, if there's one takeaway from this, be consistent. Okay, be consistently watching my videos. Uh, be consistently watching other people's videos. Be consistently in practice mode. Be consistently playing games. Consistency is the key to being successful. I want to end with my quote that I began with earlier. Great people, successful people, great people, those guys, great people, they do consistently what average people do once in a while. Take that and apply it uh, to Madden, apply it to your life, whatever you want to do with it. I think that's a great quote. I think that's a great place to end. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And if you have any questions about what I talked about, be sure to ask me in the comments below.